Hey guys, Jason here. In this video, I'm going to share a melodic sweep arpeggio exercise with you. Alright guys, so let's break down that last little piece. That's the part I want to show you. So let's throw up the tablature and we'll go over this note for note. So as you can see, by breaking it down, it's not a super complex pattern. I call it a melodic sweep arpeggio exercise because it's giving you a melody. In other words, it's not just your typical sweep picking where you just go up and down. Now that sounds really cool. I love that. And it comes in handy in like those really fast parts of your guitar solo. But I kind of want to take us a step back and I want us to think more about what we're playing in the notes that we're hitting. And more importantly, I want us to think about how those notes are speaking to you as the guitar player, as the writer of your music, and also to your listener. How are those notes speaking to the listener? If you just play the same standard, you know, sweep arpeggios, that's awesome. And I've talked about this in many, many of my lead guitar lessons and my other videos. That's great that you can do that, but after you do that for a few seconds, it just gets kind of dull and bland. So it's like having chicken wings with no hot sauce, <laughs> you know? You need some of that spice on there to, to give it life and, and bring it to being, that sort of thing. So that's why I'm, I'm going over this very specific, uh, what I'm calling a melodic sweep arpeggio exercise. You've got some melody in there, and I want to go through it one more time. And I want to go through kind of the semantics of the sweep arpeggio. We're using the sweep picking pattern or the sweep, sweep picking technique to start out. But we're kind of starting out in reverse. So I'm going to come back to the lesson real quick here. You, you don't necessarily want to pick each note. You don't want to go. You kind of want to let that pick fall up, if that makes sense. So just practice on this first three notes. It's, you're, you're playing on the uh, the GBC or the EBC. I'm sorry, there's no C in there. The the E B G strings, but you're you're falling up in that order. So it's the uh, it's the 19th fret, the 17th fret, and the 16th fret. So just practice that if you're having trouble starting out. And then of course then you go to the next string, the D string, and you're going to be hitting the 17th fret. So that's the sweep part, you know, that's that sweep arpeggio part of the lesson. But then we move into something a little bit more unique. We go back to that note. And then we do this. So we kind of go back and forth. We're kind of flip-flopping back and forth there. Uh, and it kind of tricks your fingers a little. It's like, okay, I'm going this way. Nope, I'm going that way. <laughs> and you're like, nope, we're really going this way. And then we fall into kind of like more of that melodic uh, pattern that kind of catches you off guard. And then of course we do pretty much the same pattern. We just do it a little further up, up the neck there. But I think these types of, of lessons, especially this, this melodic sweep arpeggio exercise, I think these types of guitar uh, practice patterns are very, very important to your overall lead guitar playing. I think this will help you enhance as you know as a musician as a guitarist 
So go back and practice this little riff. And as always, you know, I always encourage you guys to learn what I'm showing you, but then start adding your own notes to it. You know, you just take that pattern and and add some more notes and, and maybe do it uh, on some different places throughout the fretboard and you can make up some really, really cool, you know, of your own guitar licks based on the pattern that you just learned. All right, guys, that wraps it up for this week's guitar lesson. That is my melodic sweep arpeggio exercise. I hope you enjoyed it. Don't forget that I'm still giving away my free lead guitar lesson practice guide. There's five really helpful lessons that you'll find in this ebook, and it's called Licks of Fire. You can find it at jasonsmetal.com slash join. So just go to that website. There's also a link in the description, in the YouTube description here, where you can click on that and grab your free copy of Licks of Fire. And definitely want to know how you like that ebook once you grab your copy. Also, there's a link in the description to my music where you can go download my music off iTunes, Amazon, Spotify, all those good places. That's jasonstallworth.com slash music. Guys, again, I hope you enjoyed the video. If you found this helpful, please like, comment, and share. And until the next video, keep it metal.